Okay. Leg video. Um, for this video, you are going to need your chair. Um, if you have stairs, you can, uh, we're going to do something with that. Um, if you have a sturdy enough chair, you can also do this, um, these uh, knee drives on a stair, I mean chair, stair chair, on a chair as well. Um, for any, all of the chair exercises, please make sure the chair does not have wheels. Um, <laughs> make sure it's not a rickety chair. Um, it can support your weight. Um, so with this one, this first exercise, we're going to, I'm going to go up on this second stair. So it's making it so that my, uh, I have a 90 degree, 90 degree angle. So if your chair has that, you can do these on your chair like so, and you're going to drive up. Okay. So, uh, for this, I'm just going to do, um, one set so you don't see my back for a super long time. Um, but I would recommend doing three sets of 10 on each leg. So what we're going to do is I'll do it to the side here. Um, I'm going to do it on the second step. So it's a little bit higher, but this is the general idea. You're here with one foot and you're going to squeeze up to passe, squeeze the tush and back down and two and down and three and down and four. We're going to do 10 and five and down. Holding, pulling straight up through knee to the booty. I lost count. We'll say this is eight, nine, 10 and switch. One, two, three, four, driving up, five, nice and parallel, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I just did it on this lower step um, to make it a little bit more difficult and feel it a little bit faster. I would normally do it on this second step. Um, couple things to note when we do this, when that knee bends, make sure that it's not going in different directions. It should be going straight over your toe. The higher up um, makes it more difficult for your quad and your hamstring, but it also helps us test our balance a little bit better. Okay, next one is with the chair. So I'm going to take my chair and I'm going to put this side my foot. I'm starting about two steps away from the chair. One, two. And we're going to put a foot on that chair. Kind of scooch it out. And again, we want to make sure that our knee is going right over our toe and these are going to be lunges. Again, I'm just going to do 10 on each leg. I would recommend doing three sets of each of these. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, Ooh. knee going right over the toe, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch, and we go, one, knee over the toe, two, shoulders are down, three, stomach is engaged, Woo. four, five, six, 
seven, eight, nine. Ugh, I almost have it. Ten. Okay. Um, let's see. Legs. Okay. Rolling out your mat. I'm gonna shift a little bit more over at the Um, okay, starting in a turned out second, um, this is not a squat, it's a plie, so we will have that neutral pelvis, we're not going to be squatting out, working on our, our booty, we're going to be, um, focusing on our hips and our rotation, so, rotating out. Nice wide second, and we're going to go plie, rotate, rotate, and uh, straight. One, and in, and out, staying low, in, and out, straight. Two, in, in, and straight. Whew, my feet keep sliding. Three, four, and up, Whew. one more, five, and up. I would try giving yourself a little stretch in between for those quads. Do five sets or five. Oh, my brain's not working anymore. Um, three sets of five. So repeat that two more times. Um, let's see. Okay, something new is uh, on all. all Actually, let me move this down a little bit so you can see me better. Oops. Sorry. Okay. Okay. Down on all fours. Making sure we're not too far back, too far forward. Or that our arms are out. We want those wrists to be right under the shoulder. <laughs> We're going to go stick that leg out, knee, and, and I'm going to tap to the outside. Knee to the shoulder, and tap. Shoulder, tap. Three. We're going to do ten. Four. Tap. Five, tap, six, tap, seven, tap, eight, tap, nine, tap, ten, tap. From here, now we're going to lift up, pulse, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Extend that leg and lift the opposite arm and pulse. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, Other side. Okay. Leg is up. Knee to the shoulder. And tap it back. Two. And tap. Three. And tap. So I'm really crossing it over. Four. Tap. Five. Tap. Six. Tap. Seven. Tap. 
Eight. Tap. Nine. Tap. Ten. Tap. And bend. Pulse. Twenty. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Straighten. <sighs> Opposite arm out. And pulse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. <sighs> I should have taken longer breaks in between these videos, but, um, okay. Another new exercise, you're going to want a block. Um, if you don't have a block at home, you can, um, use a couple pillows, um, books, maybe wrapped in a towel so it doesn't hurt your knees. Um, again, you can be creative. Okay, for this one, we're going to sit in a pike and we're going to put the block under our knees. Sitting up nice and tall, arms above our head, and we're going to go straight and down. Two, three, four, five, and hold, squeeze, sitting up nice and tall, and down. If sitting up tall is hard for you, if you tend to hunch, you can always do it up against the wall to kind of force that back. Um, and I would recommend that just because if we're hunching, we're not really getting the full extent of uh, that quad and hamstring workout. Um, we'll do a couple more sets. Uh, you can do as many as you want. Um, this exercise, it's a simple one and it doesn't necessarily feel super hard right away. Um, so you wanna make sure that you don't do thousands of these and then tomorrow not be able to get out of it. Um, so use discretion. I would maybe do um, five sets or so and then see tomorrow how your body feels and if you want to add more then you absolutely can. Okay, so that we're sitting on our pike. The block is under our knees to make it so that they bend and then we're lifting up straight. <clears throat> nice and tall. Ribs should be closed. Belly button should be to the spine. And we lift. And two. I'm kicking with some power. Three. Four. Five. Toes are nice and pointed. Parallel. And hold. Two. Three. Four. Five. And a. One. Two. Three. Four. Five, hold, 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 and one more set. One, two, three, four, five, and hold, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we're going to lay on our side and do our six point cleanse. Laying on the side, making sure that the knees are stacked and that we're not going to roll over and open our hips. So we're going to lift, keeping that knee in place. Now lift the foot, extend it back, bring it in, keep the knee where it is as we drop the toe, drop the knee. I'm just going to do 10 so you don't have a super long video of me just laying on the floor. Okay, so we go one, two, three, four, five, six, two. And three. 
and knee, foot, reach it back, don't let those hips roll, and down, five, up, and in, and drop, down, six, and reach it back, pull it in, seven, up, two, three, four, five, six, those would be the counts if you have music, eight, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, hips are still stacked, and ten. From here, we're going to straighten our legs, and we're going to do our circles. Again, I'm just going to do ten, and circle two, three, four, five, six, seven, really coming forward, eight, nine, ten, and reverse. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you want to follow along with me, um, you can still do just the ten and then uh, repeat it twice through. Okay, adding something a little different to our inner thigh that we normally do, we're going to engage the upper body with it. So, bottom leg is straight, top leg is bent. You can have it behind or in front. Um, either way is fine. So we're going to go up and in thigh. Up and leg lift. Three and leg. Four and leg. Five and leg. Six and leg, seven and leg, eight and leg, nine and leg, ten and leg. Okay, switching to the other side and starting with our six point clam. Knee up. Foot, reach it back, reach it in and down. Up, two, three, four, in and touch, down. Three, and in, four, and five, and six. Keeping it stacked, seven. So this part is where it's super important that we don't roll back. We want to keep it nice and stacked. Seven. Eight. And nine. And ten. So you can keep going and do twenty. Or you can follow along with me and just do this section twice through. Oh. Legs are straight. Oop. And circle one, two, three, four, five, six. Try to isolate the leg. Seven, eight, so the hips aren't moving. And reverse. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, and inner thigh, pour de bras, and leg, pour de bras, and leg, 3, leg, 4, up, 5, 6, 7, this is going to help us with our standing leg and our pirouette, 8, Nine, ten. Good. Okay. Let me check and see if I had anything else for us to do. Okay. Um, that is all of the legs. Actually, no. I have a challenge for you. Um, this challenge, 
I can't do it. Um, and it might be one of those ones that is um, super easy and I didn't realize, just like the other one. Um, but what you're going to do is you're going to sit in your straddle. Um, this will, or trying to get your straddle super wide. From there, if you um, have a small straddle, this probably won't work. Um, so that's your challenge, is to get your straddle to 180. So what you're gonna do in your straddle, imagine this is your straddle. You're gonna bend the knees, then from there, keeping those knees on the floor, so we're here, bend. You're going to push your pelvis off the floor into a squat and then come back down. Does that make sense? Um, so if this is the floor, we're gonna straddle here, my head, my pelvis, I'm gonna come push myself up into a squat, come back down and stretch it out. I hope that makes sense. Um, I will try to send um, the video that I found for that and that will be your challenge. So either your challenge is to get a 180 straddle or it's to, from your straddle, bend the knees, lift the pelvis, drop it down and back. All with control. So we don't want to ever jam anything or use that momentum. It's all with our strength. Yes? Okay, that's our leg video.